I finally got my power supplies in from eBay. This is the 12 volt, what is it, 15 amp power supply. It's out a little over 100 watts, I think. And I also have the uh, boost and butt converter on the inside where these screws are. I had to put the 12 volter on the outside because there wasn't enough room inside the TV, unfortunately. So, let's see if I can get some stuff out of the way and open the thing up for you. So, as you can see, I cut off most of the board and I only kept the secondary side. And I removed most of the capacitors and diodes because they're really not needed. Should have removed that one because it's not connected to anything anymore. But here's the wires to inject the various voltages that are needed. This one right here, this 3.5 volts. This is the boost converter that does 24 volts. And I have quick disconnects for all of the voltages in case I have to take the top off again. But everything is attached with plastic screws to avoid shorting stuff out so I got it plugged in right now and got a good power light so let me see if I can get the back on the TV let me do dark cam here for a second Here's the TV. Let me turn it on real quick. You can see, it comes right up. I don't have any inputs attached to it right now. It's going on HDMI 1. Uh, I don't have enough free hands to put any inputs on here, but as you can see, no signal. So it is indeed working. So if you have an old crusty TV that you don't want to pay 50 bucks for a power supply for, then you can experiment like I did with a external power brick and make it look nice if you want to or just bodge it on there. But uh, this whole project cost me about $30, which is less than that. And if this TV ever dies, I have some extra power supplies that I can mess with. 